Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Rainbow Spring. Rainbow Spring, one of Florida's most beautiful and scenic attractions. Rainbow Spring is a beauty created beneath these waters, made only by the hands of God. So that legendary voice you hear is none other than Skipper Manning Lockett, who was nicknamed the Barb of Rainbow Springs. He was an African-American boat captain who basically became super popular because of how he was able to narrate his tours. And people loved it so much to the point that the owners ended up recording his tours and selling them to the gift shop for people to be able to buy. Rainbow Springs, a hidden gem located in Dunnellin, Florida. As Florida's fourth largest spring, it is home to a variety of species, plants, and wildlife. Many people come here to enjoy the many trails, swim in the water, and find peace away from the city. However, before it became a state park you see today, it used to be a popular tourist attraction here in Florida. Now folks, just keep your seat and look through the glass. Enjoy the beauty just as you pass. Most amazing sight you've ever seen was the day that you bowed the Severine and the day you rolled off down the stream. In the 1930s, Frank Green and F.E. Hemphill teamed up to create an attraction that could compete with the growing tourism that was taking place in Florida. Originally called Blue Springs, Green & Co. decided to change its name to Rainbow Springs because marketing-wise, it had a better ring to it. They opened on May 14, 1937 with a lodge, boat dock, and dance pavilion to name a few. At that time, glass-bottom boats were a very popular attraction throughout many tourist locations. They allowed passengers to get a glimpse into the underwater world from within the boat. Rainbow Springs was able to distinguish themselves from the other tourist spots by becoming the first to create a new invention known as the underwater boat. This invention was hatched up by a young African-American man named David Edwards. Around 1940, as he was training to become a boat captain, he came up with the idea to build a boat that would allow visitors to go beneath the water to see Rainbow Springs at eye level, rather than from above. Tourists would be seated several feet below the surface of the water and view the scenery through portholes. After sketching out some plans, the owners decided to take a chance on this idea. The new submarines, as they were called, or underwater boats, became a big hit with visitors, becoming a major selling point for Rainbow Springs. To add to this attraction, boat captains located topside would bring to life the beautiful underwater scenery by narrating it as they rode on by. Now look through your left side pothole, for as your eyes can see, watch that dreamy, sunlit landscape. Look like mountains, look like valleys, look like green pastures, and the fish look like birds winging in the air, and the turtle look like cattle roving in the forest. Throughout Florida's history, there are many African Americans who have played a major role in its existence and prominence. Skipper Manning Lockett was another prominent African American who left his stamp on Rainbow Springs. He was a longtime boat captain who was a popular mainstay at several festivals during the 1950s and 60s for his rhyming tours in which he explained the springs and named off the fishes and vegetations one would see during their boat rides. Now there's over 40 variety of fish in the Rainbow River, so here's some of the fish we'll give you by name that you'll see on your boat trip at Rainbow River. We got large mouth bass, got a big mouth black bass, got a calico bass, got small mouth bass, got a blue girl, we got child cracker, got a sand sucker, got china, we got a leopard gar, got a mud fish, got a jackfish, pipe fish, nil fish, got sun pike, got a red tail pike, got warm mouth pike, we got speckled pike, got a blue shad, got silver shad, got German cock, got a copperhead brim, got a mud cat, channel cat, speckled cat, red breast, red eye, and a black gar, got an alligator gar, got a roach, got a golden cock. As they grew over the years, Rainbow Springs had a lot to offer, such as a lodge, gift shops, a monorail with leaf-shaped gondolas, and a zoo. They even had live mermaids for a while and performances from the Bahama Bells and waterfalls. Though Rainbow Springs was popular for its waterfalls and promoted as such, it was completely man-made. In 1889, rock phosphate was discovered around the springs. At the time it was discovered, it was among the purest in the world. Many people living in the area depended on phosphate mining jobs, especially after freezing temps devastated the citrus industry in the 1890s. After the mines around the springs were exhausted, the area was purchased and turned into a tourist attraction. Phosphate miners used huge steam-powered machines to dig pits to locate and remove the phosphate. The huge piles of discarded soil were the perfect place to build waterfalls. Despite all the success Rainbow Springs had, in March of 1974, it would officially close down. There are many reasons for their closure, but one of the major issues they faced was the birth of a new highway. On June 29, 1956, President Eisenhower signed a legislation funding the construction of the U.S. interstate highway system. The construction moved fast. By the early 1990s, approximately 45,000 miles of interstate highway were complete. Rainbow Springs is located on a major north-south access on U.S. Route 41. It followed the route of the old Dixie Highway, which was the first highway created to bring tourists from the Midwest into Florida. For a number of years, this brought a lot of good fortune in tourism. However, 
The construction of Interstate 75, which closely paralleled the old Dixie Highway and US 41, took with it a lot of the traffic that normally ventured on the old highway. Though all of the north-south routes in Florida felt the effects of I-75, US 41 felt it the most. Attractions that were not located near an interstate exit had a harder time being seen. They had to find ways to promote their business to the passerby. It also didn't help that Disney was moving into town and taking away a lot of their tourism. They quickly saw a decline in visitors. Though they were able to keep things going throughout the 1960s despite the effects of the interstate, they couldn't keep it alive in the end. After a year from the date they closed, a reporter visited Rainbow Springs to find that the once beautiful attraction was neglected and turning back into the Florida wilderness it once was. Fortunately, in 1984, after being purchased by Chase Ventures, they allowed a group of volunteers from the local garden club to enter the park and perform some maintenance work. In 1990, after six years of work by the garden club, the state of Florida purchased the property and developed it into a state park. They acquired the 55 acres encompassing the commercial attraction and the 600 surrounding acres to serve as a buffer. On March 9, 1995, the grand opening of the new park was held. Today, Rainbow Springs is a different kind of attraction. Gone are the gondolas and the glass bottom boats, but people of all ages still come to enjoy swimming in the springs or hiking through the gardens. You can even catch a viewing of some of the beautiful wildlife creatures that live here. With everything, there's a history and a story behind it. Rainbow Springs has it all. From its glorious past to its current future, there's a lot to learn about this place. I hope you enjoyed some of the history we were able to discover about Rainbow Springs. On part two of our Dunnelin series, I will bring you along on my journey experiencing Rainbow Springs for the first time. Come along as we hike through the beautiful park, talk to some of the local volunteers, and do a bit of owl watching. It was quite an adventure, and I can't wait to share it with you. If you haven't already, please be sure to like this video, comment below your favorite history fact that you learned about Rainbow Springs, and be sure to subscribe to this channel for more explorations, discoveries, and truths. Thanks again for watching. My name is Ruth, and I'm out.